Hey, hey guys, how is it going? I'm here with a prophetic word that the Lord has given me. He actually gave it to me on Sunday, but I'm hopping on today to give it to you guys, just to give a little info on what's to come when it comes to the supernatural miracles that God is about to begin bringing into our lives. So again, I'm super excited because it's like, I'm starting to see what he is about to do. And so that's why I'm hopping on right now. So let me know where you guys are from as you come on. This one is going to be more of a story. So I'm going to wait a little bit for people to hop on because it's a bit of a story with it. And if you miss the beginning of the story, you'll probably miss a lot of the words. So let me know as you guys come on where you're from because this one's really good. And it's something that happened in my life. Like I was actually... Most of the times I get visions. A lot of the times when I have prophetic words, I have visions. I get occasional dreams, but I'm someone who gets visions. I can pray. I can see things. I can sit there and God will begin to show me what's to come. So this is something that happened in my awakened, regular, <laughs> living my life kind of thing. So I'm excited to share. I shared it with a few people and I was talking to them about what's to come with these supernatural miracles, but it's what God... It's basically showing me, like, this is what we're about to see. Like, people have been talking about the supernatural, seeing the supernatural, miracles, signs, wonders, all of this that's coming. And I am coming on to let you guys know, to give you a preview, an example of what God is about to start doing in people's lives. The people who have been really there, who have gone through the testing, who have gone through the trials, who have gone through all of it. And did not fade away. Like we went through a whole pandemic and people who just really stayed close to God. Like a lot of people strayed away during this time. But for those of us who stayed consistent, who stayed in his presence, who didn't give up, who didn't just let go of the faith and say, you know what? This is too much, God. I can't keep doing it. For those of us, we are about to see God move. And I've been posting things this week where I was like, are you ready to see the supernatural? Um, are you in position? All of it is about to come. So I see Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. He told me you were coming on live. <laughs> Look, and, and and like usually I was like, Lord, I always go on like Wednesdays. I'm like, maybe I should just name it Prophetic Word Wednesday or Word Wednesday or something. Because I'm always coming on on a Wednesday. Like that's just the day that he has me come on. So if he told you I was coming on, most, like I said, for me, I come on when he tells me. He, sometimes he has me wait a little bit. Today was one of those days where he's like, no, just wait. I see why, because a lot of people who it's for, I see you guys are on. I see Rain. I know this is for you, Rain. This is for Alyssa. I see Ashley. How you guys doing, Queen? So, Sasha. Hey, Sasha. How's it going? So, if this one is a bit of a story. I like you guys got to stick with me, because usually I have visions, but this God is switching it up. He's changing the routines up. He's changing things up now. So, even the way that I typically hear from God is changing. Like I am living it. I'm walking it now where he's walking me to where he's taking me and, and things that he wants to show me. So if that part is even different. So I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to start where, because again, you got to stay, you got to stay with me on the story just to introduce myself. If you guys are new, if you watch the replay, right, replay in the comments, I want to see who's coming on. But my name is Johanna. I'm a kingdom mentor, but now God is putting me into business strategy. So I help women experience a breakthrough in their life, heal from the past and transform their life. Also a prophetic voice. Uh, I do a lot for the kingdom. <laughs> I do a lot for the kingdom. But today is all about this prophetic word that I have to get out. I've been holding it in since Monday. So follow me on this journey. I need you guys to walk with me and what's going on. So Sunday, I went to my sister's church because she just joined a new church. And it's out here by where I live. But my mom is from the city. My parents are from the city. So they came. My mom went to church with her. So it ends in... After it ends, my mom's like, I don't want to wait. I need to go back home. I need to cook. Can you um, take me back home? So I'm like, okay, it's about a 30-minute drive. But I go to my parents' house all the time. I need you guys to see this part, that I go to my parents' house every weekend. I put GPS in only because I like to see traffic. So I put GPS into my parents' house because I go there all the time. As I put GPS in, it's directing me to their home. But then GPS starts to tell me, turn here. Hey, Adrian, how's it going? Make a right here. It's taking me from my regular route. It's taking me on a different route. So whereas I could have just gone, just followed and said, no, I usually go this route. I followed the instructions that GPS was telling me. So I'm taking the route that GPS is telling me. It tells me to turn on 47. It's taking me this weird way. It's taking me all over the place. But here's the thing. 
I start to go the way that it's taken me. So this is this is when God starts to speak to me. He's like, don't go the way that you always go. Follow my instructions. Follow the route that I'm taking you. So I'm just going there. My parents live, let's just say, 537 44th Street. So I, GPS says that I'm going there. I get to, after GPS has taken me, go here. I'm literally down the street from my parents' house. And GPS tells me to make a right. I could literally see their house, but GPS is directing me to go somewhere else. Again, supernatural. I make this right, I make this left, and I get to a house, and it says, you have arrived. You have arrived at 531 East 44th Place. GPS is telling me that I was supposed to go to 537 East 44th Place. Everything is all off from where my parents actually live. So I get there, and it is a gray stone house with a red door. Mind you, I was supposed to go to 537 East 44th Place, but it took me to 531 East 44th Place. So the week before, my pastor did a sermon where he had went to Georgia and they did a tour. And they were telling them that when people paid their house off, I don't know if you guys remember in my prophetic words where I was like, I feel like I'm going to pay my house off early or whatever. But God had been telling me for about a year and a half now that I would pay my house off early. And my pastor did a whole sermon where he went to Georgia and they explained, he went on a walk into and they told him, when you pay your house off, they paint your door red. Tell me why I get to a house with a red door. GPS takes me off track. I'm not even supposed to be here. And I'm at a house with a red door. So he talks about, no, that means as an activist, I'm doing that. Yes. So like he said that even five years ago, before he even knew about this, he felt led to paint his door red to say that his house, no, he didn't even know it at that time, but he felt led to paint his door red. Come to find out when he traveled years later to Savannah, Georgia, just recently, this is what he found out. So God led me to this house after he told me I would pay my house off to a red door. But that's not the thing. My parents are 537 44th Street. GPS takes me to 53. GPS says 537 44th Place, but it says you have arrived at the red door. And then I look at GPS and it's telling me you have arrived, said 537 East 44th Place. So I said, let me drive down to 537 East 44th Place, y'all. 537 East 44th Place is clear land, the only land on the block, land to build. Like we talk about how God says he's going to give us land and everything. It is the only slither of land on the block that was just blank slate to build. So I go back home later on. This is just going next to it. I go back home later on. My house has increased in equity. I have seventy thousand dollars in equity in my house out of nowhere. I don't even know where it came. I don't even know. Like the the pro I bought my house in twenty nineteen, y'all. Like this is what God is doing right now. Like He is setting us up for wealth. When we talk about the wealth transfer, I know you guys have heard about this wealth transfer and all of this. This is wealth. He's setting us up for wealth. The fact. That he showed me my house would be paid off. He showed me land to build. And then I look and I have $70,000 in equity in my house. Like, y'all, I don't think y'all understand. Like, let me know in the comments if y'all get what I'm saying. Like, this was God coming in saying, no, I'm confirming this for you. I sent you to that red door to tell you, no, you are going to pay your house off. And to show me that when I bought my house in 2019, it was at a lower value. But because I've been in my house since March of 2019, it, the equity is at $70,000. So guess what that means? If I want to talk generational wealth, I can take my equity from my house and go and begin to build on the land that he's talking about giving me. But this is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, he's showing us how this wealth transfer is happening, how we're about to build this wealth. It's not just about coming into money. It's about building wealth for your family and your children's and your children's children. So me, I already have my house right here. There's land over here that I'm building. There's equity in my home. Like, that's the wealth transfer. But what God was telling me in that moment, he led me to scripture. He said, Mark 10 and 27. After I went home, I prayed into it like y'all like this. <laughs> it's not just just come. It's not just your business taking off. It's bigger than that. It's wealth. It's not just I started my business and I started making money and I paid my bills. Like, no, 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 no. This, this is not that. <laughs> this wealth transfer and what God is doing is way bigger than that. So we have to see it's supernatural. Like that was super. And my mom was in the car. My mom was in the car. And she's like, I'm like, do you see this? She's like, yeah, I see it. She's like, that GPS didn't say. She's like, GPS did not say 531. But you, it took you there and said you have arrived. So I got to stress the importance of that part. It, that's the supernatural. That's when God is coming and moving and shifting things. But he led me to Mark 10 and 27. We know it. Jesus looked at them intently and said, 
Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. And so that's what he's telling us right now. Like we may not think we're looking around and you might be living in a hotel. You might be living in an apartment. You might be living and not have, being able to pay your bills. You might not be able to do anything, but just how quick it can change, how fast he can turn things around. You look up woman. And that's the thing, like you guys have also been hearing, like it will happen suddenly. It will happen swiftly. It will happen out of nowhere. Like I wasn't expecting to, that to happen. I wasn't expecting it to shift and change like that. And God was telling me, that's how quick it can change. That's how quick I can shift your life. That's how quick I can change your life and really flip things and change things for us. Like, I want to, I mean, I see somebody saying you can feel my excitement. Like, y'all, like, it was mind blowing because I was like, it was just, it was so, I mean, I've seen God do things and kind of do things supernaturally, but I didn't see him intersect my GPS and <laughs> take me somewhere I've never seen him do something like that with my whole GPS system. And he just came in and just changed the whole route up. Like the entire route was changed. Everything was shifted. So he led me there. Every, and, he, and he had me highlight everything is possible with God. So we may be in a place right now where we don't think it happened. I'm living here. I'm doing this. I don't know what's happening. God, you told me this would happen. You told me I would do this. You told me I would move. All of this. But the, it was so quick. And the thing that he said, like prophetically, this prophetic word part of it, he was saying, he said, follow my instructions to a T in this season. And he was, and that's what he spoke to me. He said, to a T, like, um, and he had me use what happened to me. Like, I could have just said, you know what? I go to my parents' house all the time. I'm just going to take the route that I always take. You know what? I'm not going to get off on 47th Street. I'm going to go all the way down to 43rd or 39th, whatever I do. I could have just did what it is that I usually do. I could have followed my regular routine, but I was obedient. I followed his instructions. Like I didn't know at that point if it, if it was him or if my GPS was off, but I kept following it. I kept doing it. And he's saying right now is the time to really follow his instructions, to really stay close to him, to really not stray away. Because again, as you are going deeper with him, you hear those instructions. You hear that turn right, turn left. Don't do that. Don't do this. That's what he was telling me. Like prophetically, it was it was follow my instructions to a T. The same way I made those turns. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense for me to take this long route. It didn't make sense for me to see my parents' house and I can literally just drive my car <laughs> a foot away and be at their house. But instead, I decided to make that right and go left and look what I what it led me into. Like that's what God is saying. Like get out of the routines that you're doing. You may be used to doing things your way. You may be used to waking up every morning, taking a walk, driving this way to work. But what if you feel led to say, you hear God, you feel Holy Spirit telling you, nah, instead of going there, go here. Instead of going there, go here. But you have to be sensitive in the spirit to be able to be led like that. Like sometimes he's telling us to do things, but we have these distractions. All these things are throwing us off. We're not really able to be led in that way. So you have to be in the spirit to be able to hear things and know it that way. The exchange is now, like, I'm telling you, and he's sending me out. Like, I haven't even heard people really say, explaining it this way. So I know he, he, he was like, no, go on and talk about it. Follow my instructions. I'm telling you, because at the end of the day, let's just say I just decided not to. I would have never gone on a little adventure to see what he was speaking to me in that moment. And I'm telling you, like my mom, she's not really into the supernatural and all of that. So for her to see it, it was blowing her mind too. She's just like, what is going on? Like this GPS did not say this and it didn't. But it was really about really listening and knowing what he's saying and not being so set in your ways, really following him and allowing him to lead you in this hour, in this season. Because again, we've been talking about these 60 days. I mentioned this, but there's a new stretch. Like God is about to give people a preview of what's to come in the next 90 days. Like in the next 90 days, like in September-ish, like this, this, this season, this right now, what's happening right now is just a preview of what's to come. So as we really follow him, follow the instructions, we see a little, he always just shows a little preview. Well, here you go. It's just a little bit. For me, this was a little preview of this is where I want to take you. I'm going to show you this just to, to get you going. And it and it, it got me going, okay? Because I was like, nah, like this, I know it's God. And to come back home and see that I had even more equity in my house was even more confirmation. So just know right now, we've been talking about getting to July. These, you know, we talked about 60 days and everything. July was about to be a June and July would be a shift. But it's a preview of what's coming in the next 90 days. And that's when we've been talking about kingdom marriages and these people coming together. And um, he even led me to uh, Luke 9, 1 through 6, where it says, 
When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He told them, take nothing for the journey. I'm going to go down a little bit. So they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing people everywhere. Like, that's that power that's about to hit. I don't know if you guys have been hearing about how, you know, his spirit is going to hit people and they're going to be able to do things they never be able to do. Like, even for me, there's a boldness that, that's hidden. Like, there's a there's 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 something that's getting stirred up. It's something different that's being stirred up. So I really want you guys to see that part. And he had me write it down um, to really highlight it. One thing he said, he's about to change it up. Be okay with changing things up. I don't know who else this is for. He had me write it down. He had me, he was telling me to renew my passport. Because when we talk about, uh, so they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing people everywhere. Some people are going to travel. Some people are going to go out and do things. Some people are going to meet their kingdom spouse, kingdom partner, and, and you guys are going to go out and do it together. So some people may need to renew that passport. If you don't have one, get a passport. He really had, he had me write this in my notes, so I'm pretty sure it's for someone. But the fact that people travel everywhere, it's not just where you are. It's not just in your zip code. It's not just online. Like, you're about to go out and travel everywhere. He had me get mine. So, yeah, like, he had me put this in my notes to renew because... He's going to be sending people out, out in the field, out to spread the news, out to spread the word. So I want to stress that part as L as well. He said, your ministry is about to go out on the road. Wrap up those last few things because it's about to happen. Like it's, it's written in my um, notes as well. So wrapping up those last few things, doing those things he told you to do, not missing out on it, having those things and systems in place, whatever it is that you need to do. Because at the end of the day, it's about everything being lined up like Sometimes we're waiting for God to come in and really just blow on our business and tell and just do all of these things. But he's not about to come in and just do that if your systems are messed up, you don't have a business bank account, you don't have a separate account for the... Like, it's a mess and he's not going to come and bless that mess. You know what I mean? We got to have everything set up, have a structure in place. He's been giving me places to go and yes, getting things completed. It's the structure that we need. It's having those things in place. It's having everything right <laughs> because when it's time you just want to be able to go and so he definitely led me there my god confirmation for me he told me he is preparing my ministry for me the ministry the all of it all of it but he can prepare it but we have to be his hands and feet on the earth doing the work like if we are not doing the work if we're scared to go out and do it if we're nervous about starting a ministry how is he going to come in and elevate us or blow it up or get it to the people because people are just waiting for us to do it God can't do like he needs us to do it. So I really felt led to come on and give you guys, I'm gonna go back and look at the comments, but I really feel it's the routines getting out of it. Because for me, I'm someone who's like, I'm going to wake up at this time. I'm going to work out at this time. I'm going to do this. And he's just been throwing it all around. Like even today, it's like, you want to do this clubhouse room? You want to do this? Okay. But you need to write your book. It's he's throwing my routines off because he needs to be able to flow through me more. If I'm stuck in my routine and what I'm used to doing and what I'm, I'm expected to do, it's really hard for him to really tell me to get up, move, go change, do things this way. So be open to what he's telling you to do, to where he's leading you, to where he's saying go. You never know who you may meet, what you may do when you are open to being led by him. But it's really about being close enough to him to hear it. Um, let me see. He told me to do the same. So, yeah, Rain, I know you have been really putting in work, getting things in order. Um, and just watching you grow even when it comes to video and going online and just being you. <laughs> so, yeah, if he told you about the passport, I would definitely get it because the fact that he had me add that part it doesn't even flow in what i have written here but the fact that he told me to add it in i know it's for people who god is saying i'm going to send you out the same way he sent them out um and even at the top of the heading is jesus sends out the 12 it's those 12 it's the people who are, are are prepared they've been trained and he also had me say some people are feeling like he's i heard this today some people are feeling like they need to um, do more trainings. They need to watch more videos. They need to learn more before they can go out and do what God is telling them to do. But God is saying, you've already been trained on this. You already know what to do. You have already 
gone through that process of doing or, or being prepared for what he's telling you to do. So just know and believe that you are prepared. You are ready. You do know what you're talking about. You, you know what I mean? Like some people feel like they're not ready to do what God is telling them to do, but it is a journey. Like you learn as you go, you know, you grow as you step into it. I'm, I wish I could show you guys my very first prophetic word. Like it is pre-recorded. It is not live. It is, I recorded it, I'm nervous as ever on it, but I, God told me to do it and I did it and I grew as I went through it. I learned how to write them, I learned how to structure them, I learned how to really um, hear him when I was when I write them to know what he's saying and to really lead to help other people. So just know, I heard him telling me this, that a lot of people feel like they're not ready, they need more training, but he's saying that you are ready, you're prepared. He's already prepared you for where he's taking you, so just step into it. I'm not even sure. I thank God for what he is doing in my life, being consistent daily. My relationship with God has grown in a totally different place with him. So just like for you, Fatima, like I feel like that, like you mentioned ministry. It's that ministry. It's like people are waiting for that. People are waiting for your teachings. People are waiting for your sermons. People are waiting on your prophetic words for you to speak life into them. Like people are waiting on all of it for all of us. Like there's some things that I need to do that I need to wrap up. Like I'm writing my book right now. People are waiting on my book. But if I just said, God, I don't know how to write a book. I'm nervous about doing this. I don't really know what to do. I'm not going to do it. There are people who can really benefit from what I've gone through, from what I've experienced, and just really get elevated in, in just the fast track from just reading a book. Because that's what books are. Books are just knowledge put into a book. Like people's knowledge are placed into that book. And we read it to help us fast track to get to where we're, we're trying to go. If you read a book about accounting, you learn about accounting because then you gather more knowledge and you can take that and use it in whatever it is that you need to do. So I feel that for a lot of us where we don't want to do it, we don't want to step into it. Like people are waiting for that. People are waiting for that book, that ministry, that business, that, that sermon, whatever it is that God is telling you and placing in your heart. People are waiting on it. But for me, I'm talking about these supernatural miracles because I'm telling you that was supernatural. It was God moving. It was him showing me and it was him coming in and saying, no, let people know that it's happening. And for me, having that equity is, is giving me a foot up when it comes to wealth. It's giving me a foot up. Like it came out of nowhere and God told me to move here, but that's part of the instructions. God told me to buy this house in 2019. God led me to this house. So that was an instruction that I followed. I felt led to get this house so that later on down the line, it placed me in a position of where I am now where Okay, now I can go and do other things and it's building more wealth in me because of my obedience to what God said. So, I pray that this has blessed you guys. I just wanted to hop on. I'm probably just going to do Word Wednesday because I always get my words on Monday and I write them on like Tuesday, Wednesday kind of thing. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do. No worries, Queen. Um, We are going to meet. Oh, yeah, you guys. So, I kind of phased out prophetic consultations for a while just because God had me working on building other things. But... If you are someone where you feel stuck, you don't know what you what to do, you feel like you don't really know where to go and what you're doing, I do have prophetic consultations open again. I only God only has me doing them on Tuesdays because of everything else that I do. I want to drop. I should have it saved here. Um, I want to drop the link here uh, if anyone's interested. So if you are someone you feel stuck, you feel lost, you feel like I don't know where I am right now because we've all been there. Where we're, we're in our relationship with God. We're trying to build with him. We're trying to figure out what comes next. And then we kind of get lost. Things get off track. And it's like, wait, where am I right now? So if you're someone like that, or if you're just like, okay, I'm trying to get to that next place. What do I need to do? You can book online. They are open only Tuesday because um, I do a million things. But I do want to let people know because I know a lot of people ask me about them when God had me kind of phase out and work on other things. But if you are someone who wants to schedule something, you can go to journeytothekingdom.net and check it out. Um, definitely a blessing. So yeah, Rain, I definitely see it for you really stepping into it. If not, Queen, I blocked it for you. You're good. Uh, <laughs> Queen and I are about to work. We're, we're doing the consultation. But no, I blocked it on my end so no one else can schedule it. So no worries, Queen. It's already blocked for you on, that, on my part so that no one else can go in and take it. But yeah, um, I am going to hop off because I need to finish writing this book. My son has a baseball game today. I have a million things to do. But I pray that this has blessed you guys and increased your faith to know that it is happening. It is coming. To, but to really listen for those instructions and follow him. So no, Queen, look, she said level up. No, I blocked it for you. I already know it's already blocked off for you. 
So listen for those instructions, you guys, because again, if I did not follow them, if I decided to go my own route, if I decided to do my own thing, I would have missed out on what he was trying to tell me and show me for what's to come in the future. So I will talk to you guys later.